Hey everybody, welcome on out to another episode of Coke Classics vs. Comedians. My name is Jamie Maxfield and we are recording here at Corky Engine Entertainment Studios here in Kaysville, Utah. <laughs> And I have got these three awesome, really cool people with me today. Very funny people. I got Bob Bador, Howdy, Crystal Starr, Hello. and Andrew Jensen. And we are here to karate kick the hell out of this movie. This is your movie. My pick. Crystal, tell us a little bit about this movie. Take us through it. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Buckle in for this. Okay. Uh, I chose Reanimator. So uh, we see West, it starts out with him, the nurse and the security guard are going down to investigate to see what he's doing. They walk in and the guy is turning purple and his eyes are bulging out and oh, then yeah, he explodes. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You killed him. No, I did not. I gave him life. And that's your great opening. Open. Yeah, right? Great yeah. Open. So you're like, oh, I'm in. I'm ready for this because it starts with the great special effects and that great line. Herbert West moves to New England, goes to another school. He befriends uh, Dan uh, Keynes, I believe his yeah. name was. Herbert West sets up his laboratory in the basement and uh, reanimates the cat. Oh, Rufus. Poor Rufus yeah. comes back Rufus. to life. And, and somehow Dan, like, jumps on board with all of these schemes. I'm like, what is <laughs> wrong with this eager. Dan? <laughs> yeah. and he's like, well, at no point like, did he like, like, why did we kill the cat again? Rufus is killed twice in this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dan is dating Megan. Oh, this is where it gets. Yeah, yeah, this is where it gets a little in the dramatic. Yes, yeah, you yeah, ready yep. for the drama? This is so, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, the notebook. Yes, yes. Like the notebook. What the fuck? Re so love like, story. Like, love story. The love, the love, love story. Love story is very notebooky. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, so, <laughs> so Megan is the daughter of the dean. Yep. And then you have uh, another doctor, Dr. Hill. He's the bad guy. Dr. Hill has heard of the studies and he wants to steal Herbert West's and take this reanimating serum and make it sure. his own. Yeah. Right? Which, so by the way, the serum was awesome because yeah. it glowed. Yes, well, it was glow stick. Was yeah, so it was glow stick juice. Yeah. 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 It was so good. And then they just get all messed up with each other. They end up, he loses his head, literally. He gets yeah. kept in a jar. Which is a badass scene, uh, yeah, and by the, the way. Yeah, the dean dies, yeah. kidnaps his daughter because he's <laughs> under. Yeah, it's so good. There's yeah. so many things. And then the, the way it ends, fantastic as Great well. Great ending. This was, Reanimator was definitely my gateway into horror films mm -hmm. because of the special effects. There was over, I believe, 25 gallons of fake blood used so on this. crazy. <laughs> they were saying, like, the camera crew, they had to wear garbage sacks because they didn't know how much splatter was going to happen that day. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I'd imagine. Yeah, a bunch yeah. of like cast members from SeaWorld that do the old uh, yeah. splash zone. <laughs> All right, here in the splash zone, here in the splash zone, get ready, here comes the splashes. Reanimator like, tarps. <laughs> I mean, and this is a great movie. Uh, maybe not a first date movie. I made that mistake before. You took someone oh. to a first date on this? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I invited yeah. him over. I'm like, come watch a movie. And then we watch that, and then we get to the scene of the literal head. Yes, my love. Yeah, yeah, and I, I completely forgot about that scene, and then I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> and there was somebody who tried to get to know, oh, hey, I'm yeah. Crystal. And you're like, hello. <laughs> like, hey, if we could just chop your head off, <laughs> I would be completely uh, This would be, oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's just a fetish. It's just a phase. <laughs> it's, it's something I'm into. <laughs> yeah, totally. I, I mean, I got to tell you, Barbara Crampton became, like, my just, Ultimate goal uh, there in the in the eighties. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as as a, as a young uh, young teenage boy. I mean, she she did that. I mean, obviously beautiful and gorgeous and naked in that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, she was in Chopping Mall. She was like the scream queen kind of of that mm -hmm. era. And man, but just I, I'll watch that movie a million times over just for her and the like eighty sweaters she wears. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> oh Tons of sweaters. What, what I gotta what I gotta point out about this movie though is Reanimator's a comedy. Yeah. And yeah. the weird tip off to the whole thing is near the beginning when Dan and Megan are together in bed, there's a poster above Dan's bed of talking heads. Uh huh. Oh. So it's a, it's a talking heads poster. 
which becomes the big thing of the doctor. I just, to me, that is such a clever nod to what where this movie is going. Mm. I don't know. I liked it. Uh, I didn't really love the beginning of it. Yeah. It's like slow, slow, and I was like, get to it. I know what's going to happen, but like, let's get. It, it seems like it yeah. took like forty-five minutes to get to like actual, and then it just was awesome. Yeah. From the it time was, that they brought the cadaver to, to life. Morgue. Yep. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then it's like, then it's brilliant. So the first guy that they bring back to life, that's actually Arnold Schwarzenegger's body double. Oh yeah, the really? one that yeah. fights yeah, him and they have to do the, the bone. Oh, I, I was gonna say, gonna say it seemed pretty muscly. Yeah, it's his well, body they're like, doubles. Oh, this guy's in shape. Yeah, like, let's, let's reanimate this one. This guy could kill us. Yeah. This guy could kill us. through some doors. Yeah. Yeah. I, I loved it. I did think it was a little slow at the beginning. You yeah. had a great opening scene, and then you had a lot of scenes kind of developing the characters and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. then the, just the closing scene when he, you know, he's got yeah. his girlfriend, and you yep. just, it just fades, fades to black, black, and, and then you hear her scream. scream. Spoiler, yeah. she dies. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. they try to reanimate her. I would have, yeah. too. I would have. Why oh, wouldn't man, you? You, man. Yeah, yeah. we're like, we're on to yeah. something. Let's <laughs> yeah. try it out on our friends and family. <laughs> I mean, it worked on the cat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And look at how great everything, uh, <laughs> everything The funny thing is they're like, great. oh, I killed them, but we can bring them back to life. But they never are really <laughs> them. No. 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 It's, it's like, the chick no. cat is chopped in half. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that was a real dead cat, too. Was I mean, it? If you didn't, yeah, that was an actual dead they cat. They found on the, like, the road. I don't know where so they, they get it from the... Faces of Death? <laughs> <laughs> no, because yeah. I said a wheel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that was a, it was an actual dead cat. They didn't just like have prop department make oh, wow. a dead cat. Uh, here's one. Here's one. <laughs> Rufus. Yeah, they, they send the Rufus. AD to get that. You got to find a dead cat. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fluffy, you had a good run. <laughs> I got to pay the bills. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll I'm not the back. best prop guy in the business for nothing. <laughs> Film school's not going to pay for itself. <laughs> you have to make a sacrifice. Uh, Everyone's making sacrifices there, Rufus. <laughs> 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 oh, that's awesome. Uh, so, yes, obviously, Crystal, you obviously, love this movie. strongly recommend. Yeah. Uh, Andrew? I, yeah, I didn't like the beginning, but it, it was so good at the end that it's worth sitting through the beginning. So, once you get to that point, it's just awesome. Yeah. For me, I love the, uh, the what's his, Dr. West or yeah. whatever, Don His character is so, and he's so driven mm -hmm. on oh, doing yeah. this. So focused Like you said, on he's it. just so, and you're just like, yes, this guy is going to get, this is the Steve Jobs of dead people. Like, <laughs> he's going to get yeah. some yeah. stuff he's, done. Yeah. He is like who I compare all my mad scientists to. I'm like, yeah. you're mm -hmm. a good one, but you are no Herbert West. And then when they're like, on the he's goal. always in the background when uh, <laughs> the main guy and the girlfriend are talking, he's always like, yes, no, <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> You should do this. <laughs> uh, and then he just disappears. So like, it's like, what is this guy doing? He's so yeah, he's good. awesome. So yeah, I love this movie. I think it was uh, a great film. Um, if you, especially for like horror movies and just that whole scene at the end when all the bodies start coming alive. I have a plan. So do I. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I, I recommend this movie as well. Uh, like I said, this is um, this was the '80s horror movie at its finest, um, and it was really set up to just be this schlock, fun kind of horror movie. But yet, it delivered on freaky kind of scares. It delivered on on so many different levels, and it's enjoyable. I think it, it I think it still holds up today, uh, which is very rare for almost anything from the the '80s. Yeah, uh, in a especially movie, especially the horror films. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. the horror. <laughs> But uh, great, great movie. All the characters are exactly what they needed to be in this movie. You might not think that there's, you know, great acting throughout, but they were exactly the way those parts needed to be played. Yeah. And and that, in a sense, shows great acting. Yep. So I think this is our second film in a row. Consensus. Ooh. Wow. Third in a row. Consensus. Well, consensus. Of... Oh, yeah. third in a row. Right. But this is our we, we, we all hated the first. We, one. Don't really, <laughs> we don't really count the first one. I think right? the whole world would hate the first one. <laughs> yes. yeah, so, so uh, Crystal, how can people follow you? Uh, you can follow me at hellosweetypodcast.com. Uh, listen to us, subscribe to us. If you want to, follow me on Twitter at hello underscore crystal, K-R-I-S-T-A-L. Parents were creative, what can I say? There you go. <laughs> Bob, how about you? Uh, with Quick Wits, you can always uh, check me out at qwcomedy.com, where we have our new podcast, At Wits End. That is hilarious, so check that out. Fun. Andrew? Uh, toysoupcomedy.com. Boom. 
And then you can just follow me at Twitter, at Jamie Maxfield. Uh, we want to thank uh, Corky Engine Entertainment Studios for allowing us to uh, record here. I want to thank you guys for being available for this yep. episode, and we will see you guys on our next episode. All Thanks right. a lot. Well, finger guns to close. Oh, we're... <laughs> <laughs> That's how we open. That's we how we open. <laughs> 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 <laughs>